Hey again everyone, Nick here, Used Bikes Direct, checking out a beauty today, a 2015 Road Glide. Hop on the website, usedbikesdirect.com to see those detailed photos and specs. Give us a call with any questions at 866-576-2453. Like I said, this is a 2015 model Harley-Davidson Road Glide CVO Ultra. It's going to feature Harley's powerful 110 cubic inch V-twin engine in it, and naturally that's paired up to a 6-speed transmission. This one we're checking out today is 32,068 miles on it. And as you can see, she is in beautiful condition. You're not gonna have any major chips in the paint or tears in the seat. Keep in mind, you might see a couple of those paint little swirl marks or scuff marks along the way, but honestly, that is going to be about it. As we go to climb up top, we'll take a look at the controls and the display, and then we'll go ahead and give her a listen. So starting over here on the right hand side, you're gonna have the usual kill switch, starter button, four way emergency flashers, and your right turn signal but you're also going to have some menu controls underneath that. Obviously plenty of chrome wrapping around the bike that you see here. Over on the left hand side, the usual headlight, left turn signal and horn, as well as that trip button up by your index finger and your cruise control and audio controls on the bottom. Now Harley's going to give you a combination of analog and digital displays up here. So as you see, you do have speakers up front and a little bit of storage. Analog gauges, they are going to be for the fuel over here on the left. And then, of course, you're going to have this large digital screen in the center that's going to be for your radio. To the right of that, you're going to have that battery voltage. And then as we come down low, you're also going to have your gauges for your speedometer and your tack. Now, while we're here, just zoom in. CVO, Custom Vehicle Operations, that's what it stands for. That's it right there. There's the odometer on the left, 32068. Anyway, let's go ahead and give her a listen. And she has that beautifully aggressive tone as well, thanks in part to the exhaust that's on her. As we zoom in, we'll use some detailed shots of the bike along the way. You saw it for yourself, 32068 on the odometer. Obviously, this one is in stunning condition. So you just saw the seat. There were no tears in it whatsoever. As we come throughout the paint, you're not going to have any major chips in it. Like I said previously, just a couple of those light scuffs along the way. And of course, it's going to have all of the features that you're looking for out of a touring machine. Loads of storage with those lockable saddlebags and top trunk. Plenty of comfort features like your full boards down low, smaller storage compartments up front. And then like we briefly grazed upon earlier, you're also gonna have cruise control and a radio. So really everything you're looking for. As we come up front, we'll kind of just zoom in on some more of the plastic so you can see exactly what you're talking about here. Obviously you have some black that's accenting against all the blue that's on it and loads of chrome. Coming down the forks, even there, chromed out for you. Definitely a beautiful look for sure. And of course, the Road Glide's gonna have that large fixed fairing on the front. A couple of little additions as well, like these light chrome pieces that you have up here. And of course, the tinted windscreen, definitely a nice look for sure. As we wrap around to the right-hand side of the bike, it's pretty much gonna be a mirror image of what you saw on the left. Plenty of blue on it, plenty of black on it, plenty of chrome on it. And as you come down low, of course, you're also going to notice in the engine itself where it has emblazoned Screaming Eagle 110. Now, that fantastic tone you heard earlier was coming from right here with this Python exhaust. See how it just dumps out on the side. Definitely a cool look as well. Obviously, you're going to have the same saddlebag that you had on the left hand side. And while we're back here, just point out where you also have those lights that are wrapping around the back of the bike. So you have the red lights on the back. You have the red calipers up front. Definitely balances it out nicely. Now remember guys though, as always, you're going to want to hop on our website so you can see all those detailed shots of this bike and of course the rest of the inventory too, and that's going to be at usedbikesdirect.com. Feel free to reach out to us with any questions whatsoever. You can find us on the web or you can give us a call at 866-576-2453.